You know who that is? Beth in the back. That is the bull, the symbol of upcoming bull run, the time in crypto when the prices go up and up and up and up and to the moon. So right now is the best time to hold on tight to your tokens and not to sell them. But what if I told you that there is actually a way to capitalize on the coins that you are already holding without even selling them? Because it's true. Today, me, Alexander, product manager here at arbitragecon.io, will talk about this exact service that will help to solve that problem. You know what it's called? Arbitrage Scanner. I know what you're asking, dude, how do we capitalize on the coins that we don't even sell? So let's break down the strategies step by step. First of all, mainly I hold my token on exchanges like Gate or OKEx. And for whatever reason, I have a lot of XMR tokens in my portfolio. Yeah, I'm just working like that. So what I'm gonna do with those tokens called XMR with my portfolio? So I'm holding them, for example, on OKEx and I have, let's say, 100 of them. And I have noticed that on OKEx I can sell them for $119, for example. Whereas on Gate they are sold for $117. Here I see the arbitrage opportunity. So the second step for me would be to sell all my XMRs for the price of $119. Alright, now I don't have any to tokens, I only have USDTs. There comes the third step. I transfer my USDT to the next exchange, where the price is lower. And then I just buy the XMRs back, exactly the same amount that I have just sold. So, what can we see here on step 4? We have 100 XMR in the beginning and 100 XMR in the end. But the dollars amount that I have in my both wallets on both exchanges have suddenly increased. To sum up, let's look at this slide. So this is what we have started with and that's what we have gained. I think that is great strategy because it allows me to capitalize not only when the market grows, but also when it's just stable or even falling down a bit, because the amount of tokens that I have is always the same. I'm just gaining additional and additional dollars while still waiting for the token to increase in price. So. How can we at least semi-automate this process? I think that you should wait right here. I'm gonna sit at my laptop and continue with you here. All right, I'm here at my laptop. So the first thing to do, of course, is to go on arbitragescanner.io. So here's the website. The scanner is available since the very cheapest subscription called Test. Of course, we have a lot of other plans, for example, the Guru plan that is special uh, for arbitrage uh, strategies. Also, we have Business, Platinum, Enterprise. They all uh, vary in terms of which uh, products do you receive with each subscription. So, for example, in the Business uh, package, you also receive not only the screen, not only the scanner, but also the screener, arbitrage perpetuals, and much more. And on Platinum, for example, you unlock DEXs. So if you're a newcomer to ArbitrageScan.io and Arbitrage as a whole, I will suggest you go into the, uh, our main page and get a free trial day here. So uh, you will be sent a link to the Telegram bot, which uh, will guide you through. And then, after you test the service, uh, I su suggest you go into the Guides and Cases tab, where you can find a lot of useful information on different strategies, such as strategy with the hold, so the scanner, screener, arbitrage perpetuals, and other services like wallets. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, cases, tutorials. Also, I think that you should really uh, read the scanner tutorial. It's brand new, so it's all up to date. So read it before you do any deals. After you do all of this, I suggest you go into Arbitrage Scanner tab. You can find it under the Arbitrage Products card. Here it is, Arbitrage Scanner. So I have already uh, created some scanners before, but let's add another one. So uh, 
As you already know, I'm holding XMR on the exchange OKX. So uh, let's set up the scanner this way so I can uh, get notifications about XMR. All right, so currency one, XMR. So the token that I want to arbitrage that I'm holding in the long term and I want to arbitrage it. The currency two is always USDT because our service works with the pairs uh, to this exact stablecoin. Right, uh, currency is all done. Now for exchanges. So uh, we have two options here, exchanges for buying and exchanges for selling. So uh, exchanges for selling should be also picked uh, the exchanges where you have the tokens. So uh, for example, if I have XMR only on OKX, so I should pick only OKX here. And then if I'm comfortable for, uh, to sell the XMR on any other exchange, I can just do something like this, select all. So initially I will sell the XMR on the exchange called OKX. And then I will buy it back for basically a discounted price on some other exchange. Uh, for the sake of argument and to demonstrate that our service works, I will select all the exchanges here, so just the notifications would come up uh, more quickly, because I don't know if uh, there are any opportunities on XMR and OKX are right now. Right, now we have minimum profit. So uh, here I think this filter is self-explanatory. Uh, I am interested only in arbitrage opportunities that are uh, that will profit me 0.5% or more, so I will uh, do exactly that. Then we have an interesting setting called notification settings. So step notification is the checkbox that you could select if you don't want to constantly get uh, notifications about the spreads. So what I'm talking about. If you don't have the setting turned on, uh, you will be sent notifications in your Telegram channel every time that our system picks up that there is some spread based on your filters. But if you want to know only if the spread changes by the time, you can turn on step notification checkbox and then specify the step that uh, will trigger the new notification. So let's imagine the example. We have a spread on XMR that is exactly 1%, 1% of profit. Then if I have this setting, step notifications on and the step 0.2, the next notification I will be received by me only when the spread becomes 1.2% or 0.8%. So I will not constantly get the notifications about spread 1%, 1%, 1%, maybe 1.1%, my telegram screener will be mute. But only if the spread changes by 0.2%, I will give, get the next notifications. And then if the spread right now is 1.4, I will get another notification. I think I have explained that. All right, I will probably turn it off because uh, for the sake of argument and demonstration, uh, I want to receive my notifications as quickly as possible. So, and to do that, of course, I need to input the Telegram chat ID. Right, so uh, now we need to create a new channel. Let's call it XMR Scanner. Next. Okay, the channel type is private. Permanent link, of course, done. And now I need to add the bot. First of all, I need to add the bot that is called the Universal Adder. The Universal Adder. Here it is. I will give him all the permissions that I can. Add new admins, of course. Done. Now Universe Ladder is in the channel. Now I should add another bot. Arbitrage Scanner Screener Bot. Here it is. Add new admins. Always give all the permission to the bots. Done. Right. Now go back and we wait for the notifications with the ID of this channel. Here it is. Uh, this is a public channel with a username, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the last numbers here are the ID. So we copy it with the minus sign, head back to the uh, scanner. 
and input it here in Telegram chat ID. Right. Now, uh, all we need to do is uh, create our notification. So there is a lot of uh, agility in the way that we can create the notifications and the templates for our bot. For example, we can use the variables uh, like so. So I want to know what symbol am I trading. So it should be XMR. So I just use this variable and then the bot will automatically uh, catch it and instead of dollar sign symbol will send the XMR token here. So I do care about the symbol. I want to know which exchange am I buying from, which exchange am I selling to, what profit it should I make probably. It's uh, profit index. Also, I'm interested in volume. So volume is volume. Right, really straightforward. But if I don't want to do all that and to carefully uh, select all the variables that I want to use in my scanner, I can just choose it from the template that is public av publicly available. For example, this one. All right, now we have basically set up the scanner. Let's click save and just wait for the notifications to come. While we're waiting for this notification to come up, let's look at some cases that our client had in the past. So one of the recent ones is the case with NKN token. So uh, the exchanges here are HTX and Gate. And uh, in case of NKN, this is the token that you can arbitrage pretty consistently. So basically there is almost a constant spread between these exchanges. So what did the client do? He held NKN in the long run. And every time that he has seen an arbitrage opportunities between those two exchanges, he made a deal and earned basically a constant spread of 1% every day for almost a week. That's an impressive result because not only he will capitalize on the upcoming bull run, but also he is constantly making additional profits by just arbitraging for 10 minutes per day. So that is a really awesome case. Let's look at the, the another case from our client. So one of the ways to get basically free tokens are launch pools and launch pads. You can know about them from, for example, our chat, where we always uh, talking about arbitrage opportunities, maybe some special occasions when you can uh, get something for free or basically for free. And uh, one of our clients got the SUI tokens from the launch pad. And that is a perfect opportunity to just hold them, waiting for the price to go up and to arbitrage them between exchanges, making additional dollars. So there are actually a lot of cases uh, with scanner, screener and other arbitrage strategies that we provide as a service. If you are interested in that, I would suggest you to go to the Cases tab in our uh, Guides and Cases directory in, on the website and look it up for yourself. All right. Now back to the Telegram notifications. Right, so I have just waited a bit and there are already two messages with uh, different arbitrage opportunities. So here we have Kraken and XT, here we have Max and XT, Max and CoinX. So there are a lot of spreads right now on XMR. So probably when I shut the camera off, I will uh, go and arbitrage them. If we have OKX here, do we have OKX? No, we don't. All right. so. I'm not that excited anymore. But still, there are a lot of arbitrage opportunities. So for everyone that is holding tokens, that is basically the best way to uh, know about arbitrage opportunities on the market. So of course, we can uh, check on every exchange individually if the trade is real. Of course, you uh, always need to check if those numbers are real, if those numbers are not delayed. Of course, we do everything that we could to ensure that you get the best data, you get the signals as fast as possible, but always do your own research and check every deal individually. So yeah, that is the scanner. It works. We see the notifications and I think we are pretty much done here. As we can see, the scanner works well. But I will hold your attention for another minute or two to answer the questions that I am asked really frequently. What is the difference between scanner and the screener, two of our flagship products? So first of all, of course, scanner is available for the clients with the test plan or higher. 
while the screener starts only with the business subscription. But it's not the only difference, of course. So uh, the main difference is in the strategy that you perform with those products. So as we can see and as we have learned today, the scanner heavily relies on the tokens that you hold on your balances. But the screener actually does not really care about the tokens. It cares only about USDT. You start with USDT, you buy some token, then you transfer it to another exchange, then sell it again for USDT. And you have started with the same with the same amount of dollars and then you end up only with dollars. The tokens are just intermediate step between those two points A and B. So if you're working with the screener, you don't need to hold any tokens. Just make your profit uh, in every 30 minutes if you want. But with scanner, tokens are a must. And of course, scanner and screener are not the only strategies that our website provides for you. For example, there is a DEX arbitrage that is available for all the users that have the Platinum subscription or higher. And also the perpetual screener that is available to our business plan. So all of our products, scanner, screener and arbitrage perpetuals, they are providing different strategies for you to choose from. You can arbitrage by holding, you can arbitrage perpetual contracts, you can just arbitrage between sex and DEX exchanges. Do anything that you like, do anything that you're comfortable with, that you're experienced with. But also, always do your own research. I think that you should really invest your time into reading the cases, into reading the tutorials again, maybe re-watch this video, not to make any mistakes while you're performing the deals. I think we have an understanding here. So thank you for your time. This was me, Alexander, product manager here at arbitragecon.io. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.